I'm just trying to be the best athlete I can be. Yo, welcome back to another video. Today, I want to talk about the importance of exercising with cerebral palsy. Exercise is important to maintain a healthy lifestyle for everyone. It's also important for those with cerebral palsy and up someone who lives with cerebral palsy. I was born with it. It affects my total left side. It's important to note that people with cerebral palsy may have unique physical limitations. So it is important to consult a physical therapist or trainer, but it can be done and it can be done right with uh, the right supervision. But today I wanna to discuss some exercises that's helped me personally and I believe can help other people with CP. Build strength, function, and a healthier lifestyle. First, let's talk about wall ball squat throw. Let's go. This exercise involves squatting down and then throwing the ball against a wall. This can help improve power, coordination, and balance. Additionally, wall ball squat throws can help improve range of motion in the hips, knees, ankles, and upper body. It can also help to develop the explosive power of the lower body and upper body, which can help people with cerebral palsy to be more independent in their daily activities. Next, let's talk about kettlebell swing. These exercises involve swinging the kettlebell between the legs and then up above the shoulder height. This can help improve overall strength and function, especially in the legs and core. Additionally, kettlebell swings can also improve balance, coordination, and posture, which can be beneficial for the people with cerebral palsy who may have difficulty with these areas. Squatting exercises are also beneficial for people with cerebral palsy. These exercises involve squatting down and then standing up, which can help improve lower body strength, balance, stability, and coordination. Additionally, squatting exercises can help improve range of motion in the hips, knees, and ankles. This can help increase functional mobility and help with activity activities like sitting down and standing up, climbing stairs, and walking. Box jumps, which has become one of my favorites. Box jumps is an, another great exercise for people with CP. These exercises target the quadriceps, glutes, and calves, which are important muscles for functional movement. Additionally, they can also improve balance, coordination, and power. Box jumps can also improve explosive power and reaction time, which can be beneficial for people with cerebral palsy who may have difficulty with these areas. Box step-ups are similar to box jumps and also target the legs and core. These exercises involve stepping up onto a box and then stepping back down. This can help improve overall strength and function. Box step-ups can also help improve balance, coordination, and stability, which can be beneficial for people with cerebral palsy who may have difficulty in these areas. Finally, shoulder press exercises can be beneficial for people with cerebral palsy. These exercises involve lifting weights or resistance over the head, which can help improve upper body strength and overall function. Additionally, shoulder press exercises can also help improve range of motion in the shoulders and upper body. This can help improve posture and the independence in daily activities, such as reaching, lifting, and carrying. If possible, by implementing these exercises, people with cerebral palsy can improve strength, function, and quality of life with the proper guidance. Just a small glimpse of some things that I've learned with CP on how to build strength and function that I would love to spread to people with cerebral palsy and even without cerebral palsy. You can implement these into your training. Very beneficial. Thank you guys again. I appreciate it if you guys hit the subscribe button, like, comment. Again, let me know what you guys like to see next. Thank you, peace, peace, peace. Hey, look, you can see the scene.